Welcome to Murrayfield Ice Rink, home of the Edinburgh Capitals for the next part of shooting sport as a spectator, which is going to be ice hockey. Ice hockey can be tricky to capture as the game is fast and furious and is played in a stadium with artificial lighting. Edinburgh Capitals play in the Elite League, the UK's premier ice hockey competition, so I went along to cover the showdown between Edinburgh and the Guildford Flames. The first thing for any photographer to do is contact the club before you travel if you want to take a camera into the game. While mobile phones are allowed, some clubs don't allow cameras with interchangeable lenses and it is advisable to check beforehand. Once you are into the game, I recommend sitting with the travelling fans as the seats are less likely to be full, meaning you'll have more options to choose a shooting position. For the game, I took along the new X-H1 and two X-T2s. I initially fitted my 100-400 telephoto zoom, but soon put it back in the bag as I was close enough to the action and the maximum aperture was too slow for the tricky lighting conditions. I used the 5140 f2.8 and 90mm f2 lenses during the game. As well as shooting from the stands, I also shot from the rink side. Shooting from these positions comes with its own challenges as you are taking images through glass screens. If you shoot at 90 degrees of the glass you should be okay, but an oblique angle can cause distortion in the final image. Also, from a safety point of view, remember to stand slightly back from the glass as it does flex when hit by the players, and while toughened the panels have shattered on rare occasions. One of the other items I recommend you check is the colour balance. The artificial lighting can cause a few colour shifts, so check before the start of the game and adjust if necessary. Following such a fast moving sport is really challenging and I recommend you attend a game or two without a camera to see how the action unfolds. Ice hockey is very unpredictable. The play flows from one end to the other and can change direction suddenly. With team sports I normally advise photographers to keep their eye on the ball, but that is also extremely difficult when the ball, which in ice hockey is called a puck, is a 3 inch by 1 inch piece of rubber that moves at tremendous speed. I found the best way was to keep my left eye on the game and be ready for when the play moves into my area. For frame filling shots I waited until the play moved into the attacking zone I was covering which is marked by a blue line on the ice. The game between Edinburgh and Guildford was tied going to the final 20 minute period. Guildford scored to move ahead and with seconds remaining until the final buzzer, Edinburgh gambled by taking off the goalie to bring on another attacker, leaving the goal unmanned. Unfortunately the gamble failed and Guildford slotted in a fourth goal in the dying seconds to win the match 4-2. Ice hockey has to be one of the most challenging sports I have ever shot, but that is one of the reasons I enjoyed the experience. For further details on the Edinburgh Capitals visit edcapitals.com and for British Ice Hockey visit britishicehockey.co.uk